very nice. And for the second card, we've got, so this will be an English card. Oh. How's it going guys? Joshy Boy here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be opening some custom vintage booster packs uh, made by a seller called Happy Mask Merchant. Uh, he did some for us previously, not specifically for me. I bought them at auction um, for a what? For around 50 bucks Australian. And we had a really good time. We have opened two and I pulled a really high quality base set Venus or holographic, which was like amazing and it really made me want to buy some more um i lost the the auction the other day that i was actually bidding on but then he contacted me directly and offered me to buy um one separately and i said well i two more and i'll do another opening and um yeah i'll post it on, um, on youtube so he can see it as well so first of all thank you happy mask merchant i really enjoyed opening your other cards and um yeah hopefully we'll get some two pack magic this time and get some more great pulls forever hopeful for the uh base set blast always to complete my uh, base set trio if you want to check it out um those cards are in uh, my previous video with my new box i just opened and finished making i had a really good time making it so yeah check that out if you already haven't i'll put the link to the video here so here's the booster packs here i bought them both at the same time from happy mask merchant and you probably recognize the logo it's a bit faded but they took about uh, three weeks to get here from the united states so it's quite a bit of a wait but i think that's just because of the, the postage system here in australia it slowed down because of you know, the virus stuff and um probably the same thing in the states okay so before i open these packs i just want to quickly read the description to you guys so you can um i don't know just understand why why i bought them and uh why i'm excited to be opening them today and we can sort of build a bit of hype into terms of what we might actually get. So yeah, let's just quickly read this out to you. So um, there's a limited supply. The idea is he makes, they're all vintage cards. So not all first edition, but there's a possibility for that. In the description it says, each purchase includes two vintage holo rare cards, possible first editions. They'll be shipped in sleeves, five vintage random cards, one vintage rare, which is also possible for first edition or holo. Um, there can be Japanese cards in these as well. Uh, nine vintage common, uncommon cards and 13 vintage common cards. So just as the end, it's a total of 30 cards and it allows for up to eight possible vintage holos in each lot. So I know you might be thinking, how do you know, like, like surely they don't give away that much value for 50 bucks or whatever you pay for these in auctions. They're selling like hotcakes these, so he's making quite a few of them. Um, but we had really good pulls last time, so I was confident to buy some more. Um, yeah, it's a bit of fun. I, I, a lot of the time, most people can't afford to be paying four or 500 bucks per pack to be opening the vintage card. So this is a nice way to do it. Have some fun, get that nostalgia hit, and um, not break the bank every time to open you know, just some old cards, which is the ones I collect. I probably will start doing some of the newer sets just because um, I really like the uh, look of the Hidden Fate Charizard. I just love looking at the cards and enjoy sharing the videos with you guys. So let's get on with it. So here's our first packet. Um, what I'm hoping for here, he's, he's got some, before, one more thing, before he puts, before I open these up, um, he has shown some pictures I'll, I'll show you guys right now of what could be in these um, sets. So there's a possibility of first edition base set cards. We'll <laughs> yet to see a review or anything like that to say that someone's pulled one, but that doesn't mean there isn't. And imagine if we put one now, guys, it'd be epic. I'd just be going, I'll go crazy if we pull one. Um, it's got, there's a possibility of getting Charizards and all kinds of things apparent according to the seller. So let's just see if we can do it and build some of that hype up. So let's get cracking straight into the first packet so now I'm going to struggle to open this like the last time and you know what I'm just going to cut it guys imagine if we pull a first edition basic card or a first edition any any holographic I will freak freak out freaking lose my mind okay so turn around this way so we don't see all the cards as they come out oh, oh there's a Japanese card straight away so, no card tricks in this bad boy, because 
I suppose, actually, a turtle like horse is a card tricky. He sleeved up the three rarer cards right there. So one's a Japanese card in the sleeve. So they're going to be the best cards I'm going to leave until the end. Quickly pick these ones back up. And we'll go through what I'm assuming would just be the common or uncommon cards to start with. So let's just start with them. Put my little magnifying glass to the back. And I'm actually going to put these up here. So we pull them one on one and hide my, my lovely... Uh, first edition cards that I was just playing. Okay, so let's start from the front here. Epic, so first up we've got the uh, Fossil Magma, very cool card. This, um, base set two, Parasect. We've got a uh, Fossil Tentacruel, 60 HP. I'll just check the back on this one just to see the quality of cards as we go forward. Yeah, they're not in bad nick. There's a little whitening nick there, yeah, but these are actually in quite nice condition so far. I won't go too slow. Weezing from Fossil. We've got a slow bro from Fossil. Got an Amistar. Go about. Lots of Fossil cards here. Graveler. Again, just showing some of the conditions. Yes, yeah, a little whitening on there, but they're a pretty, pretty good nick, and the centering on that one's pretty all good. Uh, Cloyster from Fossil. We've got another base set two, Venonat. Slowpoke from Fossil. Parish from base set two. Goldeen from Jungle, there's our first jungle. There's another one, Cubone, I really like that artwork. Oh, I'm gonna give that, gonna give it that go drawing it at some point. Uh, here we go, so we've got a, um, one of the gym, gym sets, which is um, Lieutenant Surge's Magnemite. Krabby, Metapod from base set two. Spiro. Well, these cards feel very crisp and nice, which is what I like about these booster packs. Well, the cards are in really nice condition. They feel almost booster fresh, like from one or an actual legit packet, which is so nice to feel when you're doing this stuff. So we've got the Rhyhorn, the Vulpix, Vulpix from the stars. I always, always think of like Hollywood when I see this one, like she's walking down the... <laughs> Walking down uh, Hollywood Boulevard or something like that, getting a photo shoot. Psyduck, always in trouble. Oh, we've got a rare here. So we've got a rare Ven Venomoth from Jungle. Non-holographic, which is a very nice card and very cool. I'm going to put that there. Can't complain about that. We've got a Gust of Wind. So we've got some Japanese cards. We've got a Japanese. We've got an Ray Set 2. And a Magma to finish. Japanese Magma. Very cool. I like some of these magma. Um, no, that's not Japanese. The other Japanese cards. They're just. I don't know. Some of the artwork's different. I, I like the writing style. It looks quite cool. Okay, so we pulled a, a non hollow Venomoth. So we're going to start with the Japanese pool here. And three, two, one. Very nice. So we got a um, fossil Japanese mutt. Holographic. Yeah, it's hard to tell the hollow on this, but we'll have a bit of a check on the condition here. Very cool. Don't know if that's gonna help you guys see it any better, but I'm just gonna not do that. Japanese cards always have weird textures, weird texture compared to the English cards, but it looks in quite good condition. There's the back as well. A real Nyx, it's looking like a very nice and very, very nice card. So that's a, that's a pretty cool score straight away there. Very cool. So I'm going to put that down next to the Venomoth here. Very nice. And for the second card, we've got, so this will be an English card. Oh, they set nine tails. Wow, look at that. So this is a lovely card to have from the base set. Not first edition, but that's all right. I love these base set cards nonetheless. So it's got a bit of um, silvering at the bottom there. I'm just trying to show it. You can kind of see there. Try this again. Nah, it's not really going to help, is it? Not for you guys on the camera. Anyway, doesn't really matter. So you got some silvering there, um, and the bordering looks all right, I guess. Yeah, it looks pretty even to me at a glance. This is number twelve at one hundred and two, number two cards in the base set. And yeah, it, it, it's not looking too shabby. It's got a few little bits of white, but I reckon that's a pretty high quality card. And as for the hollow, it looks like it's in really, really good nick. So that is a stellar card to pull on. I'm very happy with that. Oh yeah. So we've got the uh, 
nine tails there, I'm just gonna put there. It's already in a sleeve, guys, so don't freak too much. I'll, um, I'll put it in a top loader a bit later. And finally, the last card for this booster is Shiny Hitmontop from uh, one of the Neo sets. And this is a lovely card as well. And same again, these, the quality of these cards he sends you are just incredible. So that's another rare, uh, obviously being a holo. And uh, the bordering on that's lovely as well. Centering's pretty good, and it doesn't look like that's got much widening at all. Um, and it doesn't look like there's too many scratches on high, so that's another beautiful card. Hey, so you can't really complain. I, I got this for 50 Australian. I've got these two, these four rare cards plus those other uncommons. So I feel like I've, if not made, got my money's worth very close to. So quickly flick through those again. Oops, leave that there now. Very cool. All right, so all right, that's pack number one done. So that's 30 cards there. And I'll leave these up so we can see what we've got so far. Sorry, uh, first edition cards, you're getting kidding now. So they're my three first pulls from the first pack, which were very, very nice. So let's uh, crack on with the, uh, so here's the second pack. So again, I'm just gonna use the scissors because they're actually very well sealed, these packs. and. Um, just make sure all the cards are pushed down and uh, there's not really, it's not really like there's much point in uh, saving the packs is there so there we go all right so what we're hunting for we're hunting for first editions if there are any in these packs uh, and or um, base set through to rocket cards specifically but I also do like um, the Neo cards and uh, some of the Gym Hero cards especially if they're first edition I mean any first edition is a good addition to my collection. That'd be so cool to pull something epic here on this last pack for the day. And then I'll, um, I'll quickly go through those first edition cards I bought separately um, that I got in the mail. Okay, so another Japanese um, rare coming up and two more English cards of some sort. So come on, hard the cards and all, those, all that Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. So we've got a new Reno. Narcanine from base set 2, Polywell from base set 2, um, Executor, oh, I can't speak, uh, Jinx, mm, controversial, uh, Sea King, uh, Kakuna, Sand Slash, Fossil, lots of fossil cards, Seedra from Fossil, I'm going to have bloody 15 million sets of fossils by the end of this, um, base set 2, we've got another um, Voltor, Lieutenant Surge as well, Mankey, Star U, Bell Sprout from Jungle, uh, Ghastly from Base Set 2, Jungle. Oh, and a Base Set um, Charmander. That's a lovely card. I really like the artwork on that. It's one of those nostalgic cards you really, really want to have as part of your collection. Even if you're just collecting the uh, the Base Sets by itself, it's just a, such, a, such a nice set to do. The, the art, artwork is like proper oil painting vintage in some of these and that yeah I just really love those cards so I'm gonna put that there quickly Meowth, Starmie, we've got a Grimer, we've got Kabuto, Poliwag and the rare Wigglytuff non-holographic from Jungle which is another nice card it's got a bit of a ding down the bottom there which is a shame but um, overall these cards have been in really nice condition so not nothing to complain about there so all right let's get into the final three but the Japanese oh got a holographic hypno um, from the fossil set in Japanese uh, it's another lovely card and that holographic is looking very clean very pleased with that oof, oof, hypno. so I'll leave that there so we've had two um, fossil cards from uh, the uh, Japanese set. Uh, those two there, which are looking really good. So I think I just showed you this other card by accident. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, so there we go. We got a jump off from Neo Destiny, I believe. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, so that's a lovely card as well. Look at that, look at that holo on there, it's beautiful. This card's in very nice condition and uh, wow. It's got a little bit of whitening up the top there. But apart from that, very cool. Okay, final card for the 
for this pack. So this is the last chance we have to pull uh, any first editions. Uh, none yet, but that's all right. I'm actually really pleased that we pulled this bad boy from the base set. Um, unlimited, but nonetheless, it's in really nice condition. I'll be keeping hold of that, and maybe that's even worth grading at some point. Um, then again, I need to do a closer inspection, but we'll see. Okay. No freaking way! Vaporeon from Jungle, and that's a that's a holographic, and it's looking in really, really nice condition as well. And look, it's these are in those um, perfect fit sleeves, which just perfectly fit these cards really nicely, and don't let them move around at all. And it just feels crisp. And this holographic's looking in really good. Nick centering's looking pretty amazing. Actually, no, it's a little bit up on the bottom there, and you can see there's actually. A little bit of silvering on the bottom there, which is a shame, but it's still a really nice card. So on the back again, some whitening on the corners up there, but overall it's looking a bit, it's looking pretty good. A little whitening on top and centering again, I think that the bottom bit's just up a little bit more than this top bit comes down. So yeah, that's that final card. So let's quickly have a look at what we pulled. Very pleased. I reckon the top pulls there are the Vaporeon and the Ninetales. Um, I don't collect Japanese cards specifically, but um, I mean, they're still great to look at. Um, I'll be uh, actually running a competition. I'll be actually uh, running a competition um, called Who's That Pokemon? I'll announce it in the next video. And um, some of these holographics will be up for grabs um, free of charge. Um, and I'll explain it more then. So if you're not already subscribed, like the video, subscribe now, and click the button, smash that button, and uh, yeah, you can be entered into the prize, uh, into the competition to win um, some of these Japanese holos and some of these other holos that I decided to give out. But yeah, check it out, um, coming soon. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's the end of the video for today. I hope you enjoyed um, the booster pack opening. Um, I had a ball. Uh, I'm really happy with that Nine Tails pull. Um, one for the record book and also that Vaporeon because you just can't go wrong with these base set jungle, fossil, and rocket cards, and then even the Neos and everything else. So if you like the video, please consider subscribing, smash that like button, and uh, leave me a comment about something you pulled recently or something you liked on the video. I'd really like to hear from you. Okay, chat for now.